Hello people, I'm Ginny Metherall and I'm here with the health benefits of blackberries today. Now this is a subject that is of course so pertinent to this time of year because this is when the blackberries are coming out and are about to flourish into the full flow of beauty. Now everybody knows what a blackberry looks like. They're of course these dark, beautiful berries. Blackberries are one of the great bounties of nature at this time of year. They're just coming to fruition and they are delicious. So what of course is magical about blackberries? Well, apart from their amazing characteristics which help you with your stomach and digestive system, they also are fabulous at putting on spots and all you need to do is take your blackberry and dab it, dab the juice onto your spot wherever, I've got some spots on my chin so maybe I should dab the juice onto the spots on your chin and just leave it there for half an hour to let it do its work. In the olden days, they used to ask you to take the blackberry juice and smear it all over your face and then go to sleep and wake up and wash it off the next morning. Now that's terribly messy and you don't really need to do that. Basically, put the blackberry juice on your face or on the areas of concern. So you might have a few pimples here, a bit of acne there, and it makes a great acne treatment. And then just let it dry, let the juice dry, which will take, what, 10 minutes, half an hour, and then wash it off and it will give you this amazing anti-inflammatory and astringent capability on your pimples and acne. And so they'll go and sort of squeeze themselves in. So they're brilliant for that. Magically, blackberries are fabulous at protection. For example, I might use a wand from the blackthorn tree, which is a very well-known protective tree, or possibly elder. Both of those are very good for protection. But the blackberry also is. Every single part of the blackberry is edible, from its leaves, to its fruit, to its stems, although they don't taste great, to its roots. I would make a blackberry tea, so take the leaves, put a cup of leaves into a teapot, pour on a cup of water, let it steep for 10 minutes or 15 minutes or so, et voila, you have a delicious blackberry leaf tea. You can flavour it, of course, with anything you like, maybe a bit of honey, maybe some cinnamon, just to make it taste, or you could possibly put some fresh blackberries in it to really make it zing. But what I wanted to discuss today is the little health properties of blackberries. And so, in order to do so, I had to go and pick some. When I marshaled my family, got the children together and collected all the receptacles that we needed to pick the blackberries, forced them into the car and ended up at Hartridge. This is an area so beautiful. It's filled with blackberries and footpaths and trees and lakes. And my children and I love it as a walk and do it regularly, in fact. It is by a Buddhist monastery and you can sort of get the energy from the monastery as you're picking the blackberries. So I think it makes a rather beautiful part of the world to get your blackberries from. There are, of course, thousands of blackberries at the moment and we picked as many as we could, well, as many as receptacles that we had. And there were so many that it didn't take us long to fill up everything with the bounteous, beautiful black berries. Blackberries are brilliant for children's diarrhoea. So if you give them some blackberry cordial or some just some blackberries, they will help to stem the diarrhoea. And they're very gentle on the stomach and they're very good, therefore, for the stomach, digestive tract, kidneys, and also for your womb, if you're female, that is, if you're men. Well, not so good for the womb, I suspect. I'm sure that you know that blackberries have one of the highest concentrates of vitamin C in them, and this makes them extremely good for anemia because you need vitamin C in order to absorb any iron into your blood. The blackberry will ease that passage. So, now I love a blackberry. I love them in blackberry and apple crumble, blackberry and apple pie, um, blackberry and anything actually. I think they're delicious. But one of the greatest ways I personally think to make blackberries is into a jam because then it lasts throughout the year although mine never lasts much more than about four months. Now, when you make your blackberry jam, it's a very easy recipe. You take whatever weight of blackberries you have and you add three quarters of that weight of sugar and then a splash, of, you don't need much more, of water. You will have rinsed the blackberries first and any of the water that sticks to them, that will be included in the recipe. Put them onto the fire and bring them to a rolling boil and boil them for 10 to 15 minutes. Once setting point is reached, bottle in sterilised clean jars. They're so good for you blackberries. I recommend that you eat them all the time. I am going to have them for my breakfast. Look at that. Just delicious. You cannot make spells unless you understand the power 
inherent in blackberries. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next